Call him back. I'm in the middle of something important. Okay. Now listen. You can't have any more fish if you keep flushing them down the toilet. Yeah, I know, but when mommy flushes fish down the toilet, it's because they're finished. They're dead. Well, it's when they float on the top and they're kind of broken. Yeah. No, honey. Ernie and Pepper were still alive. Yes, they were. And so were Frank and Phoebe and Goldie. Hold on a second. Yeah? Mr. Curtis wants you in his office. <sighs> now? Now. Ladies and gentlemen, I uh, guess you're all wondering why I asked you to come in here. Actually, I gathered you together at the request of Ken Arenberg. He has an announcement to make. Ken, the floor is yours. First of all, I'd like to thank all of you who worked with me here at Sloan Curtis. You've all helped to make me the incredibly rich and powerful man I am about to become. <laughs> Kids, in 25 words or less, I am the new president of Grand International Hotels. Let me repeat that. I am the president of Grand International Hotels of New York, London, Paris, and Belize, wherever that is. <laughs> J.C., aren't you going to congratulate me? Congratulate you? I'd like to strangle you. Congratulate you? I'd like to strangle you. Only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, how did all this come about? Well, uh, after ten months of getting my feet wet, I just decided it was time. Oh. And his dad bought the company. Oh. Well, that has well. nothing to do with my running it. No, no, of course not. Of course not. Please, if your last name wasn't Ehrenberg, you'd be selling magazine subscriptions. Gonna miss you around here. Thanks. But hey, I'm gonna need a management consulting firm, and uh, I'd like to keep you guys in mind. Oh, well, uh, it's very nice of you, Ken. I'll be around for a few weeks. We'll talk. Waiting for you. Come here. <laughs> oh, that's really sweet. Oh, I missed you today. I'm see too. Where's my fish? I couldn't find any fish, honey. They're all on vacation. Where? Yeah. Sea World. How'd you like to sleep with me tonight? Hmm? I could sure use a little punky in my arms. Hold on to your teddy. Here we go. We agreed the child would sleep in her own bed. I know, Helga, but I haven't seen her all day. If you are not consistent, this can only lead to disaster. Helga, it won't happen again, I promise, okay? I'm sorry. So there's no need to apologize to me. You are the boss. Oh, really? Since when? I can be out of here in half an hour if that is what you wish, Miss Wyatt. Helga! Let's not blow this thing out of proportion. May I come in? Please. Oh, well, I like what you've done with the room. It's uh, nice. Uh, it's cozy. It's a box. As I was saying, Ms. Wyatt, perhaps my leaving would be the best thing for both of us. Besides, I have another offer on the table. You were looking for another job without telling me? I wasn't looking. Someone called me. Oh. Well, uh, just, uh, tell me what their offer is and I'll match it. 
375 a week. 375? No problem. You got it. And they are offering me a large room with cable television as well. Cable TV? No problem. And a large room? Oh, Helga. You're so good with Elizabeth, and you know how much she trusts you, and I trust you. <sighs> you know, we don't have a larger room. Today's lifestyles, and it can help you get the most out of your life. HBO's critically acclaimed documentaries give you the facts, including the information you need to cope with a changing world. <sighs> Is there something I can do for you? Yes. Get out of my bed. What I'm looking for is somebody who's um, warm and educated and, you know, sort of the motherly type. Well, I just graduated from Johns Hopkins and I'm taking a year off before I start medical school. Oh, well, that's great. What brings you to New York? Well, um, I came here to live with a guy, but... Uh, that didn't work out. Then I had a nervous breakdown three weeks ago. Oh, did I say three weeks ago? I meant three months ago. <laughs> and then my father, who's a tropical disease specialist, he tried to commit suicide and I found his body at the bottom of the stairs and then my mother was drunk and she accused me of trying to kill him and, and so then I finally just said, enough is enough. I want to work with children. We work together. I do the days, I do the nights. <laughs> I just moved here from Kansas. From Copenhagen. Originally, or in this life. Can you tell me what is going on here? JC's interviewing new nannies. Uh -huh. I will teach your daughter to properly respect the man. I speak only when spoken to. I do not need a bed. I prefer to sleep on the floor. I drink only camel's milk. Thank you, Fatima. I'll be in touch. So, uh, three more steps. <clears throat> there you go. Sorry, Fritz. Helga quit last night. I mean, I fired her, and I've got to replace her immediately. You've also got Ken's luncheon. Yes, I know. At La Serre. Don't you think that's a bit much? It could mean a very important new account for this company. Right, but I've got to interview these people first. I mean, you know, this just took me completely by surprise. <laughs> Motherhood, you know? Not that it would ever happen again in a million years. Save it, J.C. I've heard it all before. <laughs> Oh, Kenny, baby. Listen, are you ready for your uh, party? Absolutely. Yeah. And Fritz, you didn't have to rent out La Serre for me. Uh, Next, please. Thank you for being such a good girl at the office, and thanks for not taking your clothes off. Mommy appreciates it. Okay. Oh, Elizabeth, you're being such a good helper. I want you to be a good helper tomorrow when the new nanny comes, okay? God bless you. Are you okay? Come here, let me feed your forehead. Elizabeth, you're burning up. Hello, how are you? Hello. Oh, stupid question. If you were good, you wouldn't be here, right? What's the problem? Where's Dr. Atwater? You're looking at him. Well, what's left of him? You're a doctor? Oh, yes, yes. I've got a diploma and a little black bag and a uh, beeper and everything. Right, uh, let's have a look at her. She often run this higher temperature? Never. I mean, not that I know of. Oh. Well, what's your name? Elizabeth. Is it really? So's mine. Do you think you can hold this under your tongue, Elizabeth? Did you just get out of medical school? No. I graduated six years ago at the top of my class, and uh, you're the one millionth person to ask me that question. I suppose you should get a free trip to Disneyland or something. Sorry, it's just this is my only child, and she's never been sick like this before. You know, you look sort of young. 104. Not terrible. Well, the thermometer only goes up to 105. She's just got a touch of the flu. It's nothing serious. The kids, they say, often get high temperatures. Hi, Doc. 
clothes. Dr. Atwater, I told her you were in the middle of an examination, but she just barged right in. That's right. Your pants are ready. Could you uh, put them in the lounge for me? Mm, she's too uptight. Is this your girlfriend? Bye-bye, Roz. <laughs> Not bad. You could do a lot worse. You have done a lot worse. Goodbye, Ross. Hey, later, Doc. Later. Please call the office. Sorry about that. Uh, one of my patients, she uh, can't afford to pay me, so she alters my clothes. That's nice. Give her a, a teaspoon of neohistamine every four hours. Uh, no baby aspirin, uh, lots of juice, water. We don't want her to get dehydrated. How long do I give her the uh, neohistamine? It's as long as you think she needs it. Uh, what if I don't know? I'm seeing, not what if, see, I, I, de I definitely will not know. If her nose isn't running, don't give it to her. And then what about uh, dehydrating? How will I know if she's not getting enough water? She'll be thirsty. <sighs> not enough water, thirst. Look, Cam, um, take it easy, okay? She'll get better faster if you're more relaxed. It's gonna be a long flu. Well, bye, Elizabeth. Bye-bye. Hi, Mrs. White. It's Miss... It's actually J.C. J.C. Oh, I like that. Bye. Bye. Ophelia. Uh, uh, ciao, bambina. Now, I'm going to go to work now, so I need for you to watch Elizabeth for me, okay? No. No? No. You don't go to work now. First you sit down and have a good breakfast. <sighs> You're too skinny. You need some hips. So you gonna sit down? No, it looks wonderful, but I gotta run. Again with the running. You're always running. Hey, you know, that's why you're so skinny. Your food doesn't have time to catch up. <sighs> Look, Ophelia, uh, here's my number at the office, and this is Elizabeth's doctor's number in case she feels sick, okay? But if you need anything at all, call me, right? Okay. Now, this is Elizabeth's schedule. This is when she has her lunch, when she takes her nap. And since she's just had the flu, please keep her in the house all day today, okay? And please, Ophelia, make sure she keeps her socks on. Of course. This is her medicine, one teaspoonful every four hours. And if she's thirsty, please give her water. You're kidding. Water? Well... <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. Oh, okay. Elizabeth, be a good girl today, all right? Do whatever Ophelia tells you to do. Mm -hmm. I love you. <clears throat> okay. Okay, ready? Say, ciao, mama. Ciao, mama. Yeah. Ophelia, I do Grazie. Hi, Ophelia. Everything okay? Uh, I think it's in the pantry on the bottom shelf. Yeah, well, why don't you check the pantry and see? How's Elizabeth feeling? What? Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll be right there. You're wasting our time. There's all the people that need us. For God's sake. This is ridiculous, huh? Where's Elizabeth? She's upstairs taking a nap. What about the fire? Good question. You the one that called? What? Did you or did you not say the baby's on fire? No, I did not. I said, I said, the gravy's on fire, not the baby, the gravy! Oh. Well, I'm sorry. My mistake. You know what, Miss Wyatt? I like you, but you're gonna drive me crazy, okay? And life's too short. I'm sorry, but I have to go. Oh. Good luck. All right, I'm going to leave my number at work right here on the desk. You call me if there's any problem at all, okay? Now, it'll be all right to go to the park if you'd like to. I showed you where the mace is in the hall closet, right? Right. If you do go to the park, call me when you leave, when you get back, and be sure that Elizabeth's bundled up because she's of just course. had the flu. Of course, all Miss right. Wyatt. Um, is it all right if I play the stereo? I love music. Sure. Oh, thanks a lot. You're so nice. I wrote my mommy last night back in Sweden and I told her all about my new job. She'll be so happy I'm with such a nice family. Well, that's really sweet.
love it. She looks so cute. Goodbye, Miss Vaya. Goodbye, Gita. Goodbye, Elizabeth. You can keep my deaf leopard tape. <clears throat> Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Why don't you give me that tape? You know, it was just a little lie. Elizabeth, what's the matter with your eye? It hurt. Here. Oh. Down. Let me look at this. Let's see. Oh, that looks terrible. Hello. Hello. Wow. Is that Elizabeth underneath all that? Yes, it is. Yeah, something's the matter with her eye. I don't know. It's uh, it's got all swollen, see, and puffy. I'm afraid it's infected. And I didn't dress her this way. No. Let's have a little look in there, shall we? Please call the page. Oh, there's a lot of gunk in there. A lot of gunk? Is that a British medical term? From now on, I'd have her use a hypoallergenic mascara. She's three years old. She doesn't use mascara. Oh. It's a long and frightening story. Well, she'll be fine. Uh, I'll rinse her eyes out, and uh, we'll give you some drops for the inflammation. And she'll be good as new. You must think I'm totally neurotic. Yes. But I like that, no woman. You're a grandmother. You're really just perfect for us. I don't think 78's too old to hold down a job like this. I think 78... Miss Wyatt. Mm. Thank you. Is this your family? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, those are my nieces and oh, my nephews. They're huh? beautiful. Mm. Do they live in New York? Oh, no, in Italy. Oh, you must miss them very much. I do. So, Miss Wyatt, uh, what can I do for you? Ophelia, I want you to come back. I don't think so. Why not? Because uh, you talk too fast. You move too fast. You make the floor Joe look like she's standing still. Okay, look, I'll slow down a little. It won't work. You don't trust me. Oh, yes, I do. I felt good about leaving Elizabeth with you. Until I thought you set her on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, what do you say? I'll give you anything you want. Uh, more money, a uh, uh, color TV, a VCR, cordless phone, fax machine. Subscription to the Met. Oh, I just want to know that Elizabeth's well taken care of. I'll come back on one condition. What's that? That you trust me. Hmm? And that you let me do my job. I'll work on it. What do you say? Okay. 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 I'll see you tomorrow morning. Thanks. Over. Oh, uh, I'll take that VCR. Sit down. Thank you. Can I get you a drink? Uh, yeah, white wine, please. So, uh, uh, how's Elizabeth? Oh, well, she's fine, you know, considering she's had a pretty rough week. With that flu and the irritated eye and six nannies. Five, really, technically, but I rehired one back. And you, oh, you don't want to hear about this. Well, I haven't been in a place like this for years. What is this place, anyway? It's Dodsworth. That's great, isn't it? Yeah. White wine? Oh, yeah, thank you. Uh, it's funny, you know, I was just walking by on my way home and I thought I saw you and uh, I thought, well, I'll go in and say hello. Hi. Oh, um, JC, Catherine, my fiance. Catherine, JC. Oh, hi. Well, congratulations. <coughs> oh. 
is this the time? Well, I had no idea it was this late. Oh, excuse me. I, I really better get home. Uh, you know, you don't I... have to leave him. Oh, uh, yes, I, I really better. You know, I've got a friend watching Elizabeth, and boy, she'll wonder where I am now. I... It was uh, good to see you, Doctor, and it was nice to meet you, Kitty. Catherine. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> Oh, please. 